The Apple Liquid Effect is one of the cleanest Apple effects you can do inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And the funny thing is most people think they do it in After Effects, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna show you how to do it inside of Adobe Premiere Pro in a fraction of the time. I'll leave all the footage I use in the link in the description for you for absolutely free. And if you're new here, my name is Torsten Roscoe. I create short form video editing assets for content creators exactly like you. They streamline your entire editing workflow so you can create content in minutes like I do in thousands of other creators who trust my packs. I'll leave those down in the first link description so you don't miss out. Without further ado, let's get straight into this Apple liquid effect. So there this is exactly what Apple this style. Apple liquid effect man. looks like. It's right exactly that. here. It really creates this cool kind of light liquid glass frost effects. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it completely from scratch. And then I'll show you guys, of course, always how I created it into a simple drag and drop format. So you guys are not always creating this from scratch each and every single time. And you can actually get the exact one I used. And not only that, but all these text animations you can see right here on this video. And if you guys actually want to, you can actually go watch this entire Apple style edit. I made a full video of me breaking down exactly how I edited this entire thing with you guys in a simple drag and drop format all inside of the Adobe Premiere Pro, super fast and easy, no after effects needed. I'll leave that video actually, you know, I'll ping it up top and leave it down in the link description so you guys can learn exactly how I created this reel in just minutes instead of hours. With that out of the way, how to make let's create this frost slash liquid apple effect from absolutely scratch. So what I have is my drag and drop format right here. I'm gonna show you, but we're gonna be creating it from scratch, like I said, but you need to have a background. So the first thing you always have to have is a background. You can get some kind of gradient or just any type of background works. Just something that's, you know, like a person or something like that. Something that you can actually see the effect. If you don't have a background, you won't be able to see the effect, obviously. So you need to have a background first. Then what we are gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate this background. We need to make the actual liquid effect. So I am going to use the rectangle. So just come over here, click the rectangle, drag this out like so, and it's gonna make this nice looking rectangle. Now we need to mess with the roundness, obviously. So come into the properties and you will see the shape. And then you see this round thing, just crank this. And now you get it. You can have it as round as you want. I just like to have a little bit of roundness. So like that, that looks good to me. Now we need to duplicate this. So we're gonna duplicate this by just holding all, duplicate this two layers. So we have a layer in between and that's where the all the effect slash glass effect is gonna happen. Now what I need you to do is create an adjustment layer. So come into your project, right click, hit new item, adjustment layer, hit okay, drag and drop that baby right into that place in the middle of it. And now here is where the glass effect takes place. We need to add a track matte effect. So just search up track matte key effect, drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer. Now the way to get this is by simply coming up to the mat and you want to ping this mat. You wanna grab the, the video layer, the graphic that is above. So the rectangle that is above this adjustment layer is on video four. This graphic is on video four. So all I have to do is come into the adjustment layer, hit this mat and come into video four. Next, we need to make sure that this fill is kinda of at like a wider angle. So make sure that you just don't make it all the way white, but don't make it like super gray like I have it. So then you wanna copy that, I just did that. And we wanna make sure that both of them they are the exact same, just like so. Once you turn them to white, all you have to do now is turn the bottom graphic to go into the opacity, turn this baby to overlay and boom, you got it. Now you can make this stronger if you want by simply coming to the shape and changing this fill to like white. You can see it's like super strong over here or you can get it even grayer and it's even like more transparent. So if I click it off, it's super transparent. I like kind of like the in-between where you can see it a little more, it pops out a little more, but not too overwhelming. Again, you just have to do personal preference. I just like it kind of like right there and boom. Now you can add a couple more effects by just adding some noise and Gaussian blur. This is really gonna pop it. So you can see it kind of just like, it's basic right now, but if you just add a Gaussian blur, it kind of rounds out the edges, makes it a lot better. And it looks super duper duper good. And also if you add noise, it adds a little bit more 
context and just makes this so much better as you can see when I start this. I love how it that Gaussian blur that you add really only affects this trend the, the glass effect so whatever is behind this glass effect will only be affected by that Gaussian blur and noise and that's why I love that. If you don't track this mat right it will actually not look like this. So make sure always that this track mat is on four and there you go. Now the way you can make this into a single drag and drop and exactly how I made this one for this Apple edit was I simply went into my Apple editing pack. You guys actually get all of these Apple editing styles. So all of these text animations right here, simple drag and drop this text animation all of those and so much more plus this liquid effect and all these gradient backgrounds that you will see in the pack and all i did was i literally just highlighted the ones highlighted the apple style went over here went into here drag and dropped it you can see that it's up here now all i have to do is come to the adjustment layer put it to v12 because it's on that and boom it is done now i can just obviously i can adjust it to what i want it to be and then i can just simply add the pop-up effect so i actually I made this a pop effect really quick here all by just coming into the apple presets that you get you can see this apple pop in all i did was drag and drop it onto it and then in a matter of seconds you get this and if you want all of these text animations you can just come into this graphic template pick out any of these apple text animations there's a gradient one there's this text animation this one there's these really cool these i message so this is there's actually the exact one. i message right here all you have to do is just like that one just let's say i wanted this apple text animation i just drag it drop it and then boom i have that i can just come into my properties tab i can just i don't know do like apple style text and then boom just really quickly turn down the font size you don't need to be and then you get that in just a literally one click makes this apple style so much easier and that's why i love this pack that pack will actually be down in the link in the description for you guys if you found this video helpful make sure to send this video to just one of your friends and again if you want to see exactly how i edited this entire apple editing style reel i'll leave that video right over here so you go watch it with me and sh i'll show you exactly how i made this entire edit with you guys in a matter of minutes and i'll catch you in the next video peace